hi guys what's up and welcome to this video so as you know i'm not uploading any videos for a long time because i have exam in few days and i doesn't have any kind of content for making videos so okay let's just forget it let's get into this video so the main scope of this video is to show you two things first if you have any kind of problem like this i mean if you have rgb prism cooler that's only come with ryzen 7 2700h or a high generation processor of amd so if you have one of these and you can control the rgb all that kind of features of this cooler so you just have to unplug your rgb header from your motherboard so once you do that you can control now your rgb all that kind of stuff okay okay the next one is how you can make cool kind of mirage lighting effect so for making cool kind of mirage lighting effect first we have to freeze our fan at one place and then we decide whether it's gonna be rotate clockwise or anti-clockwise which color you want to rotate we have three different color rgb so for freeze our fan at one place we have to find the correct hutch that's why i have this formula that's i make by myself so let me show you the formula it can help you to find that correct hutch let me show you the formula it's paint let me open paint for writing so we all know every fan have rpm that means how much your fan rotate in one minute so whatever your rpm is divide with 60 to get rps that means how much your fan rotate in one second and that's constant and it's not gonna be changed multiply this whole equation by 7 and that is number of blades you have in your fan equals to hudge right so this is the formula remember this and let me check what is our rpm now okay so i'm using app center for controlling rpm if you have other type of motherboard then you can use other software for control rpm or you can go to the bios for control rpm and i'm using cooler master for control rgp you can find those two software in description so right now i am set it to rpm fixed mode because we need fixed rpm if you try to fix your rpm how much you can so as you can see this thing still changing but uh, so that's why we have to find this most stable one right the most stable one uh like you can see here the 3516 i take that 3516 so let me open the calculator and 3516 divide it with 60 there we go we get our rps multiply with 7 this is the hutch this is the correct hutch that can help uh, help us to fix our fan at one place we need this value so let me open it the ring led and the logo led doesn't have this mirror sliding effect okay so you can see right so the ring LED and the logo LED doesn't have this mirage lighting technology so you don't have to care of those two select that one and set to static mode for control all of these features there we go increase 470 uh, sorry 170 and what is our hutch 14 set to 14 so you can see our fan is stable kind of stable but for rpm changing it's not that stable so we have to just increase a little bit i mean you have to just adjust it by yourself set it to 415 so as you can see our fan is stable more stable than previous one so that is our correct touch uh, so uh the another things that i want to show you is if you double that frequency like 415 if you double it then you get 830 you, if you do that then you get more blades and that's kind of cool right so i like that one 
170 increase green one and set it to 410 you get that much that one and if you if you increase more than that then this thing start rotating anti-clockwise sorry that one i think it's more okay so there we go our green pen is try to rotating anti-clockwise sorry clockwise and the red one is anti-clockwise so that's kind of cool right so that's what it is guys i like this video if you like it and share it with your friends if he have one of these prism cooler and subscribe me press the bell icon for next video and comment me what kind of video you want to see next time so bye guys see you next time have a good day